Geometric Sequence Project. This is part one. You should have already decided your theme. A place, an object, um, it can be a person, a person in action is great. It could be something with movement that's not a person, like waves or an animal. Um, but whatever you pick, it should be something that definitely has a lot of pictures on the web. So you don't want to pick something really obscure. I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search for ballet dancer. Now, I want pictures that are high resolution, so I'm going to go to my settings, I'm going to go to advanced search, and I'm going to go down to, oh, I can't see the size. The reason I can't see the size is you've got to click images first. So I'm going to click images, and now I'm able to go to settings, advanced search. And I want pictures that are, especially for the first one, larger than 800 pixels per inch, so I'm even going to go up to 1,000 pixels per inch and I'm going to say advanced search. Now, at this point, I have to decide if I want all my pictures to be vertical or all my pictures to be horizontal. I'm going to go with horizontal because it looks like um, there are some vertical pictures. It's about half and half, um, but I know that I want sort of um, the dancers to be able to spread out. When you find a picture you think would work, you want to actually click on it and go to the site. So from here, I can see this picture is going to have large enough resolution. I'm going to right click to copy my image. I'm going to go back to Photoshop, which I've already opened up. I click edit um, and opened up the program. So I right click to copied and that copy and now I'm going to say file new. And I don't want a blank file. I want an image from clipboard. File new image from clipboard. And now I have that baller ballerina as my layer one. So I said file, new, image from clipboard. That's only how you do the first layer. All the other layers will be different. So I'm gonna go back to the internet, okay? And I'm gonna look at my ballet dancer searches again. And I'm gonna find another one. The second one does need to be horizontal as well. And so will all the other layers. That's Misty Copeland. Okay, for the second picture, it may not necessarily, I can see that this one's a little blurry, so it's not going to be as clear. So I could look up another picture of Misty Copeland. Okay, the second picture does not need to have as high a resolution. Um, if it does, that's fine. And the second picture on, you cannot copy it from the thumbnail, but if I copied it from here, that would be okay. That would be large enough it doesn't have to be super high resolution after the first one. I'm going to say copy image. I'm going to go back to Photoshop and I'm going to say edit paste. All I did for my second layer was edit paste. Now I want to point out a few things. Number one, I can see that my canvas is 15 inches by 11 inches. That's big enough resolution. If your canvas is like three by five inches or something, that's not big enough. These pictures aren't clear enough. You're going to have to start over. But as long as you're bigger than, I would say, seven by five, you're fine. So over here I can see I have layer one, I have layer two. You're going to continue until you have 16 layers. Now, after the first layer, just like I did the second one, everyone's going to be the same. So I'm gonna find another picture. I can right click on it to copy the image. I'm gonna go back, go back to Photoshop and say edit paste. Okay, so you can see, Layer one was the original size, layer two was a little smaller, layer three is much larger. Don't worry about the sizing right now. Don't worry about, I'm gonna right click to copy, don't worry about the arrangement. All you're doing today for part one is you're going to paste your 16 pictures. So continue to go until you get 16 pictures. At some point, either your OneDrive or your desktop, you're gonna say file, save as, you're going to name it Amy Kakuzi Geo Sequence because this is the second one I'm doing. I've been practicing a few. Um, it is a Photoshop format. You're going to want to keep it the Photoshop format and say save. So you're going to continue to work until you have 16 layers. The first layer is File New Image from Clipboard, and after that, it's it is Edit Paste. Okay, so choose your theme and get to work.